My physics and simulation expander add-on has been renamed to animation and physics sim because I am branching into a direction that supports all Blender motion graphics. But the add-on now features one of the best camera tools in existence. And I'm sure of it because I think it does some very unique things. Importantly, it doesn't only work with cameras. It can be used to aim, point, and follow anything. I created this to target particle emitters. I did this when I was adding the ability to use collections for secondary emitters. I was looking to make mother proud. What it does is it takes any object and a target, and you can use that to follow or point rotations, but it's got a lot of nice little features that you can use. So let's use our camera. And we have this animated Suzanne here. She's going on a crazy path, okay? So we want to use that as our target. And looking through the camera view, we can see that Suzanne is off-centered, of course. If we just want to rotate, we can just push a button. And now the camera will follow her everywhere looking at her no matter where she goes but we have a few features that i'd like to go over because i think that you'll enjoy them first off is lock time this tells the script hey don't act like you're a robot and point it there directly immediately so what it'll do is gradually find its way toward pointing at our target in this case i picked 80 frames and you can see that after 80 frames it's got its lock on that's nice. It, it, it probably could give you a, a little more of a handheld feel. But more importantly, we can also follow it, and that is where the fun begins. You can choose to follow on any axis you desire. So let's follow only on the Y. And give it another go. This time, it is going to keyframe the location for the camera. So, it is following on the Y, but it's not going up and down as Suzanne does, and Suzanne is allowed to get far, and Suzanne can come close. So, you can see that we kind of stay in that one lane on the Y. So, let's do it with XYZ. And now, we will maintain a lock on Suzanne, no matter where she goes. We can also offset position. And what this means is we can be a different distance away, right? So this controls how far we are. But here's the best part about this. It's keyframable. I made this keyframable. I am going to show you something rather neat. So if I keyframe it to go 100 Negative 100 on the X, and then push the button. Don't forget to push the button, Carl. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll start on that side of Suzanne, and we'll end up on the left while following and maintaining that lock the entire time. So you can do some really complex camera movements just by keyframing this. This is pretty wild. I think this is one of my favorite things I've invented because doing this with Blender is hard sometimes. So you can see it's obeying my instructions, bringing the camera around and above. It's a little too fast this time, but you get the point. That's not all we can do. We can also give the camera a speed multiplier. So now let me show you a feature that blows constraints out of the water the speed multiplier. We will start at half Suzanne's speed. And then as you can see, it will accelerate and then put the brakes on. It sort of goes back and forth, but you can't do that with a constraint as far as I know. So let's see what this looks like. Suzanne leaves us in the dust. We accelerate, we catch her, we pass her, and then we put the brakes on and Suzanne passes us again. But what you can do is actually tune this so you know where Suzanne passes us. It's right here. 
we need to be at this point further over on the X so we can change this we need to begin to accelerate a lot faster than we do so I'm going to grab this keyframe that's bringing the speed up and have it kick in sooner perfect oh my god this is perfect so I found just the right spot to catch up to the monkey put the brakes on and now we're riding alongside and circling. That's oh, so good. Mm, so good. I wouldn't even know how to do that without this script. I have no freaking idea how you would do that. But I'll tell you what. I don't want to learn. The camera is the least of my worries. I have so much other stuff to learn in Blender. I'm not... I mean, it's great to know how to use the camera... But I would rather spend that time doing something a little more productive like the actual scene, right? And that's why I invented this. I use Blender for work. I usually set up little motion graphics and stuff. I don't like fiddling with the camera. But now I can do some neat stuff really quickly. I'm working very hard on my add-on. I think maybe someday it'll pay off my student loans. But I care very much what you think about it, and I'm working hard to make it a better and better bargain for the customers who have already purchased it.